Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Have you guys gotten a brand new Fire TV? Have you guys actually went into all the settings and changed the settings and turned off the features that you don't want? This will actually speed up your Fire TV stick and in regards for general maintenance, it'll make your streaming experience much more uh, better. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you all the changes here in a bit. So guys, once you first launch your uh, Fire TV Stick, of course, everything we're going to change is in the settings. So let's go in the settings here. First thing you want to do is there's nothing really you can do for notifications. Um, what you can do as well is go to the, if you click on the options, what you can do is you can do a dismiss all, which kind of hides all notifications. But if you go into the settings, um, what you can do is, this is I, my personal preference is I have do not interrupt as on. That means that while I'm actually watching uh, like a show or a movie or TV show, I won't get notified that an app has been updated or installed or whatever. Now, it's something really minimal, but if you make all these changes, you will notice your Fire TV Stick uh, 4K uh, be much faster and much better overall. So, uh, let's go into Network here. You can really, there's nothing really you can change there. Let's go into Display and Sounds. So, by default, it does choose a screensaver. Um, you can choose to uh, turn off the shuffle and turn off display info, uh, but by default, um, I, I do leave both off, which is kind of the best uh, way to have minimal um, you know, screensaver interruptions. Uh, nothing you can do for display or audio. Uh, second screen notifications allows local devices to notify if you're watching and enable a second screen controls. So if you don't actually use that, just turn it off. I would go ahead and leave it off. Uh, CEC HDMI device will basically allow your Amazon Fire TV stick to actually turn on your TV as well at the same time when you actually wake up your Fire TV stick. So I personally leave it off. I don't see the need to power on the Fire TV stick and it'll power on this TV as well. I already have my TV for, for my remote as well, for my uh, TV, sorry, as well. I don't need my Fire TV stick to wake up my TV. So I'll keep that on off as well. So. If you go into applications here, there's nothing really you can change in Silk Browser. If you go into Game Circle, uh, go ahead and turn this off if you don't use it. Um, it's some sort of feature if you actually play games on your Amazon account, but I don't, so I leave that off. If you go into uh, Prime Photos, allow guest connections. Uh, unless you use it, I turn it off and access Prime Photos. I disable this as well because I don't actually use uh, Prime Photos. So unless you use these two, I would go ahead and leave it off because I mainly use my Fire TV Stick 4K for streaming only. So, if you go into App Store here, um, automatic updates, you can choose to keep it on. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, I keep it on because I don't mind, but when they do get updated, I won't get actually get notified that the app has actually updated. So, uh, in-app purchases, um, you can choose to leave it on or off. It's kind of personal preference, but I do turn off notifications and hide cloud apps. Let's go into manage installed applications. This is where basically you can start kind of um, you know going into your Fire TV Stick in depth. Basically, go through a list of all these applications. If there's anything here that you don't recognize or you don't use, uninstall it if you can. Like for example, of course you can't uninstall all the apps. Like for example, a lot of the Prime apps you can't uninstall. But for example here, Speed Test, I was only using this to test my speed. Um, I can go ahead right now uninstall because I don't need it anymore. It was actually only for my uh, review. Like for example, um, same here with Gigabyte 4. You know, I don't need this to be taking up space on my actual Fire TV stick. I can go ahead and uninstall it. Uh, same with, for example, um, Antutu. You know, I've done my review. It doesn't need to stay to take up space because I do have a limited amount of space on my actual device. So I don't need to keep that on. Um, what you can do is to save space is all the Amazon uh, pre-installed apps. If you go into each of them, what you can do is you can do a force stop clear data and clear cache into all the apps of the default Amazon apps like right here so for stop clear data clear cache all of them so app store same thing clear data you don't, you probably don't want to do a for stop on the app store because you probably use that um, like for example same with let's say uh, files right clear data clear cache it's kind of just more general maintenance so every month or so you come in here and kind of clear um, data do a for stop once you're done all this, you'll notice your Fire TV Stick 4K will be much better overall. So, um, Cody, um, if you actually use it, don't actually clear data, clear cache. Everything I showed you with the clear data, clear cache, only do it for Amazon apps. 
like Prime Photos. Like I'm not gonna do it, for example, for my um, you know Netflix because it could clear my my saved credentials. But any of the Amazon apps, I would go ahead and do that. Okay. So now let's go now let's go ahead to the next one, which is equipment control. There's nothing really you can do here, which is kind of which will actually you know in regards to maintenance wise, um, automatic and manage is fine. Nothing really there you can do. Uh, under your controllers, there is nothing really you can do here as well, um, other than make sure you disconnect and unpair any devices that you don't actually use. There's nothing you can do in Alexa. If you can go into preferences, uh, parental controls, um, I turned that off because I don't actually use it, but you can turn it on if you want to. Uh, privacy settings, you want to turn all of these off because basically, um, if you leave the first one on, Amazon can collect personal data from you. Uh, and personal app data and they can also be able to target ads so make sure these three are all off for data monitoring turn that off as well because you don't need to monitor your data consumption on your fire TV stick uh, notification settings if you go into here I leave do not interrupt as on if you go to app notification you can go ahead and turn all these off as well but with this one on you don't actually need to turn all the apps off one by one uh, featured content I turn these two off as well again you don't really need auto play for video or audio to play um, you want to focus on your streaming apps and your you know your movies and TV shows that's what you really really want location won't matter time zone language metric won't matter so if you go into my fire TV uh, there's nothing you can do in about just kind of you know um, about things for your fire TV sticks uh, developer options keep these two as on so you can actually sign up apps uh, if you go to legal and compliance that you can do here and sleep restart factory defaults that you can do there as well if you go into accessibility um, nothing really you can do here to actually uh, make your fire tv stick 4k faster then you have help and my account then that is basically it guys so if you guys actually run through uh, this video and go through all the settings that i recommended you'll notice that you'll actually uh, you know you'll notice that your fire tv stick should run faster because you've cleared all the apps you don't want You've turned off all the useless features like video and audio autoplay. Um, you've turned off the uh, app usage data so Amazon can't collect data from you. Basically, these are all the things that you actually should do on your Fire TV Stick 4K. Um, I do actually remember making a video for the original Fire TV Stick back, you know, long, long time ago. It was actually a, a really, really popular video. I think back in 2016 I made one for the uh, Fire TV Stick uh, first edition. And that was a really, really popular video, video. So that was a really popular video. So I decided to make one for the Fire TV Stick 4K. And there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.